If you're a baker who's always on a lookout for better ingredients and for brands that you can trust, this is the video for you because I'll be sharing all the brands that I use in my kitchen on an everyday basis. Before we get into the video, a heads up, none of this is sponsored. These are all brands that I've been using for many years or maybe even discovered recently but absolutely loved. Let's get started. Let me start by talking about butter. So for all my baking, I end up using the regular Amul salted butter. If you feel that salted butter say your frostings and all become too salty, you could use the unsalted version which comes in a blue packet. Now India may you also get the slightly more expensive imported brands like Blue Park and President you'll find them in the slightly higher end stores like Food Hall and Modern Bazaar. Now talking about cream, uh, for fresh cream, Mother Dairy and Amul which are both available everywhere work very very well. Amul ka now you also get that heavy cream which comes in the red packaging. So you could use that. Uska availability is slightly flaky to kabhi milta hai, kabhi nahi milta hai. If you spot it, you can pick it up. I've tried whipping it and it works very well. Another brand for heavy whipping cream is this brand called Purez. Uh, you spell it as P U R E Z. Uska one problem is that for some reason they don't package themselves in tetra pack. So you will orange plastic bottles. Mein dekhega. So its shelf life is slightly uh, sad. Wo one two days ke only it stays. So modern bazaar pe you can find it. If you're planning to use it immediately, then that's a great brand. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend that. For non-dairy whipping cream, uh, ones which are most commonly available, and I think a lot of bakers end up using that, is uh, Rich. There's also another brand which is called Tropolite. ये soy uh, whip होता है and it whips up very very easily. We get this big 2 kg pack in our kitchen. We store it in the freezer. Whenever we want to use it, we take it out, thaw it, and then use it. For cream cheese, if you're feeling too rich, my recommendation to you would be a Philadelphia because hands down, it's the best cream cheese that I have used or which I feel is available in the Indian market. But I think it's too expensive. Your 226 ka Philadelphia packet is for about 800 rupees. That's what I saw on Amazon yesterday. But if you get a Delecta, which is also another brand that I really like, uska you get a one kg tub for just 700 rupees. So there's a huge price difference. Uh, availability wise i think britannia is the best it's most popularly available and even that 226 ka packet i think is about 250 rupees 226 grams is about 250 rupees that's what i last checked another cream cheese brand that i really like is dairy craft that comes in a yellow cuboid pack even that is great for your cheesecakes and other desserts for condensed milk you could either use nestle milk made or amul mithai made jo aapko mil raha hai dono work perfectly fine Now let's talk about everybody's favorite ingredient which is chocolate. If you bake commercially my recommendation to you would be Calibu which is hands down the best. It comes in huge quantities so it doesn't make so much sense for home bakers or if you're baking just for your family and friends. For that I would recommend you get your hands on Amul. They've honestly killed it with their circulation. It's available everywhere in your local Kirana stores to your high end departmental stores and even online on Grofers or big baskets. We clearly love it here, which is why we have so many of them. Um, I like the 99% dark chocolate also for my baking, like for brownies and all of that. But we end up using the 55% dark chocolate the most. I personally believe that India mein chocolate chips ka scene is extremely sad. There's no brand which is doing good quality chocolate chips. Most of them to end up doing it with compound, which for me is a big no. Urban Platter does um, real chocolate chips, but in the size like the size is so small and tiny that it just doesn't feel like chocolate chips like i would never want to put these on my cookies so what i like doing is and i know it's not a very feasible option but what i do is whenever i travel i get chocolate chips which are available in every departmental store there from either hershey's or from nestle my favorite ones are these nestle baker choice and just look at the difference in the size of the chocolate chip so this is your uh, Nestle and this is two urban platter like it's basically as big as four of these smaller ones that we get here in India um if you guys know of any brand that does a good quality chocolate chip huge chocolate chips in India let us know in the comments below let's help each other here for cocoa powder the brand that i use is Hershey's i like using their 100% cocoa which is unsweetened and it works very well Another brand that I like which is slightly expensive is called Hints H I N T Z and it comes in a very good looking metal tin but it's a slightly expensive cocoa powder that you can get if you have that budget. 
for vanilla and i'm sure you've already seen me using it in my videos and on my instagram i use the natural vanilla extract from sprig they also have vanilla beans they come in a pair it's a slightly expensive uh, vanilla honestly but it's my favorite way of using vanilla in my desserts another brand for vanilla that i really like is called indian vanilla goodness they also have both extract and beans but they also have something which is called vanilla powder now i haven't used it but because i've used other products from them i'm sure there'll be a great thing as well sprig again is a website that all of you must check out if you're into baking they have lots of interesting things they also have very interesting extracts like a yuzu extract a lavender extract they also have um, cinnamon um, from sri lanka they have uh, elaichi which is whole cardamom they also have a lot of different sugars like the cinnamon infused demerara sugar coconut sugar vanilla infused sugar so a lot of variety you must check it out their products are available on um, amazon on their website on tata click in modern bazaar and food hall so it shouldn't be too tough to get it's slightly expensive but great quality For all my baking, I like using caster sugar, which is called super fine sugar, and the brand that I trust is Trust. So I get the one which says super fine sugar because the size of the granules is perfect and it melts properly in the oven. I use icing sugar from the same brand for all my frosting. This is what I use. The other brand for sugar that I really like is Solar, and they also have both caster and icing sugar that you can get. So I know a lot of you don't find brown sugar very easily because I keep reading your comments. For all my baking, I like using a soft brown sugar, and my most favorite brand is Tate and Lyle. I picked this up from Modern Bazaar, and I'm sure it's also available online. Just see that it says a soft brown sugar. It gives your cookies a beautiful chewy texture, and it's just absolutely fantastic. So this is one thing that I think you should definitely have in your pantry. If you're not able to get your hands on Tate and Lyle, the other brand that I end up getting is Dham Pure. The only problem is that its the granule size is slightly bigger. It's not a soft brown sugar, but it works as a great substitute for your regular soft brown sugar as well. If you're looking for an alternative for sugar, I do a lot of baking with shakkar, which is jaggery powder, and the brand that I use is Dham Pure again. Ye bhi khatam ho gaya, but that's because we use it a lot. For maple syrup, I use this brand called Clearies. I pick this up from Food Hall. It's also available on Modern Bazaar. Now, whenever you're picking maple syrup, the idea is to pick something which says pure maple syrup. Don't pick. Um, a lot of people end up getting the American pancake syrup, but that's not a real maple syrup. This is the real deal. It's also super expensive. So I think this one small bottle is for thousand rupees. So yeah, you pay extra for the real deal. Now let's talk about a few basic ingredients for maida. I use ahar. Now like me, if you've also started ordering a lot online these days, I have tried uh, the big basket ka in-house maida which comes under the name of Royal and this also works very well. For baking powder, again, availability is the key. Aapko jo easily mil raha hai, you can use that. The top 3 brands that I end up using the most are Tops, Ooh, Wakefield and Rex. So these three I use most often. For corn flour, I use again Wakefield or Brown and Paulson. I also like using the Wakefield cup custard powder. And what else? For baking soda, I use uh, the Modern Bazaar ka in-house brand. The other brand which I get very commonly in my local Kirana store is called Balaji. So again, whatever you get, use that. Now about food colors. My favorite brand is Wilton so you get their gel colors I picked these up again from Food Hall I think ab unki availability thodi kam ho gayi I haven't seen them in a long while but if you get them they come in a large variety of colors like burgundy black teal lots of cool colors so you could definitely check it out Another brand uh, for food colors is Sprig so if you're looking at basic colors like your red yellow and green Sprig has natural colors which is always a plus so you can check them out Another brand that I like using is Spectrum which comes in a packet like this. This you can order online on ccds.com. Again a website you must check out because they have a large variety of ingredients. Even cocoa powder and all if you're planning to buy them in bigger quantities, they have like their in-house packaged cocoa powder, maida, gum paste, fondant and even baking tools and pans. So another baker's paradise. 
I'll also show you this Prig uh, food color. It comes in an eye drop looking uh, bottle like this, but it's a great color. Please don't buy Harvey's. I bought this in lockdown. It's bad. So don't buy this. Always try getting a gel color because it works much better. So avoid using your liquid colors like Sun or Harvey's. In case you don't find anything else, ठीक है, but try avoiding. Fab is another brand that I want to talk about. They have a lot of essences and flavorings in a lot of cool flavors. So they have like a bubble gum or a kevda, lots of lots of butterscotch, raspberry. So a lot of flavors that you could check out. Now to talk about more fancier, slightly less frequently used ingredients. First on list is matcha. The brand that I absolutely love is called Tea Trunk. You can shop them on their website or um, even on Amazon. They ship everywhere in India from their little workshop in Goa. Sprig also has another variety of matcha, which is called Golden Matcha. This doesn't give you the typical green color, but has a nice golden color, and um, I use it all the time. For oats, two brands that I'm sure we've all seen and used: Quaker and Bagri. Now the problem that I have with these brands is that their oats ka size is very small. So while they're okay for cooking or for making overnight oats, for baking I like to order my oats on urban platter because their grain ka size is much bigger and it's great for granola, granola bars, and for baking in general. Now talking about urban platter, I also use their yeast. So the professional yeast from them is great. Again, it's a it's a website that you must check out if you're a baker. Unke chocolate chips ko chhod kar everything that I've ordered from their website, I've really liked. Another yeast brand, if you're into baking breads, uh, check out Hovis. It comes in individual size sachets, and it's a great yeast for making bread. You can just take out a sachet, use it. It's already measured, and one packet has about six sachets. Now talking about dry ingredients and flours, another brand that comes to my mind is 24 Mantra Organic. If you're into gluten-free baking or want alternative flours, जैसे हो गया आपका बाजरा flour, tapioca flour, ragi flour, jowar flour, um, this is my go-to brand for that. They have a separate shelf on uh, in a lot of departmental stores like Food Hall and Modern Bazaar, so it's easy to spot and is a great brand. Another ingredient that I think a lot of people get confused with is oil. So for baking, try using an oil which doesn't have a strong taste and smell. My go-to oil is Sundrop. All my desserts, cakes, cupcakes, muffins, everything I do with this, and I absolutely love it. Again, very easily available. For vinegar, because I also use a lot of white vinegar to make my buttermilk for pancakes and waffles, I use this one from Tops. Again, you'll get it in your Kirana stores for sure. For sea salt, I use this brand. I picked it up from a food hall a while back. It's called S A X A. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a coarse sea salt, and ये काफी सालों से चले जा रहा है. Actually, बहुत पहले pick up किया था. खत्म ही नहीं हो रहा. 400 rupees का है, and ये काफी सालों से हमारे kitchen में basically. And to talk about coffee, my favorite is Davidoff. Um, great flavor. Another thing that I've started getting a lot in my kitchen are natural powders. Again from Urban Platter, they have a large variety and I got three first to try which I really liked. I got this palm powder, it's a dehydrated powder. I also got a huge beetroot powder. Ye meri expectations se zyada bada dabba aa gaya but uh, I'm using it in my smoothies. These powders also work as a great natural color so if you want to throw in a teaspoon or so in your pancakes or your smoothies it's a great option i also bought this freeze dried jamun powder from urban platter i am yet to use it properly but i did once in my chia pudding and it tasted great now for marshmallows i think this is one brand that we all see and use it's called haribo or haribo haribo and uh, you get this in modern bazaar or food hall and i'm sure even amazon or big basket So since I mentioned smoothies usse yaad aaya let's talk about berries for frozen berries I've been using this brand called Delish it's available in your stores like Modern Bazaar and Food Hall and even online but I recently picked up uh, these frozen raspberries from this brand called uh, Just Berries and it's literally just berries and I feel like it's much more superior the ingredients are literally just frozen berries for Delish I feel like probably there's some kind of syrup but this tastes more like real fruit 
if you're looking for fresh berries heads up they're super expensive but you can get them from food hall which would have all kinds of berries from raspberries fresh blackberries blueberries red currants even kiwi berries so they have a great variety modern bazaar would only have your fresh blueberries what i usually do is i just tell my local fruit vendor to buy fresh blueberries for me specially because their mandi is the same anywhere right so even the ina vendors are getting it from the same place the only reason why your local fruit vendor would not be getting it is because a it's expensive and people don't buy it so often but i'm sure if you try to tell them to get it specially for you they will so that's what i do even for the big italian lemons i get them from my local vendor he just buys them specially for me but the place to be honestly is ina market because they would have everything under the sun from fresh berries to edible flowers exotic fruits absolutely everything even italian lemons and all of that there is the shop called ahujas which is right in the end and if you go there you will find everything you need i is also where i go for a lot of dried fruits like almonds pecans hazelnuts macadamia and even chestnuts they also have dried figs dates and dried rose petals So yeah that's about it that sums up all the ingredients and the brands that I use in my kitchen I hope this video was helpful if there are any particular brands that you like using leave them in the comments below so everyone can read and take input from that as well Before I go let me remind you to please subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your friends who love to bake I'll see you guys next week with another video until then happy baking and take care